So that's it. That's the end of my talk. Thus ends six years in Daryl's lab. I want to thank Daryl for letting a, bio, a, a student with a biochemistry degree join his lab and try to learn how to program hardware and do engineering. I want to thank my thesis committee. Our thesis committee meetings have been difficult. We all know that. But ultimately, it was good. Hopefully it trained me to be a better scientist and engineer. There's so many people in the NEL. It's a large group. It really is a family and for good and bad. I just want to thank everybody in the NEL because you guys like, are my best friends. Um, and then also previous directors of the program, Rich Hume, Peter Hitchcock, uh, they've given me advice. Joshua Burke has become a close uh, colleague over the past two years. He's designed some rather interesting courses that me and my friends have taken that made, have made us think seriously. More, well, not more seriously, but Think of new ways about neuroscience. Also, Charma became very close to her when she was an administrative. I also want to thank Valerie and Linda. I'm not. Valerie and Linda, thank you for organizing this. And also, we got to thank the America. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bush. You know. the, most of this work was funded by a NASA graduate fellowship, but what paid the bills and bought the equipment was were grants from the NIH and DARPA. And I also want to end on a note. Um, the, the, the thing that sucks about being in your late 20s, and you know, the smallest violin in the world playing for you, is that, is that that is about the age when your grandparents begin to die. And so my grandma and grandpa passed away the last two or three years from neuroscience. You know, my grandma died of Alzheimer's disease, which is a painful way to watch someone die as their ghost in a shell slowly fades away. And then my grandpa died from excessive pain caused by trigeminal neuralgia, which made him not want to eat, and then he had all the health problems associated with it. So we may feel very sophisticated in this audience. We're all neuroscientists. Big deal. But we are literally in the dark ages, when, when I think, when it comes to really understand neuroscience pathology. I'm putting electrodes in the brain to control something. It's kind of silly, you know? When's the day when I can swallow a pill and my arm will regrow, or my, my spinal cord will regrow, or my inner hair cells, Shelley? So, I'll leave it on that. Let's keep working hard and hopefully we can help those who are unfortunately affected by pathologies of the central nervous system. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Uh, so, uh, questions? Time for the next question. First of all, I think I'm afraid to chew gum now. I think I'm since you've been doing IT in conjunction with single unit activity for prosthetic purposes, and the single units have a waveform in which to isolate them from noise, but the LMPs are more susceptible to motion and all sorts of uh, transient artifacts, uh, how do you feel above and beyond the separating the two, uh, the stability of the LFP compares to the stability of a well-isolated neuron? Well, I think LFPs are definitely more stable. You can always record them. How stable they truly are, people assume, but no one's investigated it. Um, there's a problem with doing a, a power spectrum of a spike when it's recorded from the same channel as the LFP. In the interest of time, I didn't discuss it, but all that analysis was done on an adjacent LFP. So. But yeah, no one's done that. That's another boring problem we all need to figure out. So. I'm comfortable. Why aren't you ask a question? Well, since Tim, you, you're, you're ending on a very expansive note, uh -huh. uh, where, where do you see uh, neuroprosthetics going in five years or in ten years? I think we've reached the pinnacle of the revolutionary stage. You know, um, you know, when in the 60s, you know, in Australia, when they first showed that, you know, cochlear implants could actually work. But then it took a number of decades to figure out the various engineering issues. So I think we've kind of, re we've kind of reached the end of the stage of like, look at the cool stuff we can do. And I think we're really just going to have to focus on improving the hardware, the electrotechnology. And I think if we focus on that, then there's going to be another resurgence in maybe 10 or 15 years where a series of similar papers are going to come out where it actually will work for a year, two, three, four, or five. Uh -huh. Did the humans experience the same thing? 
Uh, yeah, not really reported in the news, unfortunately. Uh, what happened was, you know, that guy was in Wired. He was all over the science press. He was unsatisfied with the results. The electrode was taken out. He flew to Korea to get a stem cell injection in his neck. I don't know if that worked or not. So all the patients eventually, after six months, unit activity went away. Thank you again, Tim. Okay. Very much. And, uh, <laughs> All right. Keep working hard. Yeah. Thanks. All right. And so uh, thank you all for attending. And uh, we're going to. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Great job. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Great job. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to uh, take that video. Uh -huh. uh, I'll it on Ted. Yeah. You ever been to Ted? I just yeah. when, so you, when you took out the implants, did you ever see scar tissue or like buildup of glia on the? I never was. I never did the sophisticated immuno for that. But uh, John has done that, and you see about a 20 to 50 micron scar. And so people are doing experiments with the coating electrodes and seeing the extent of that scar. You know what? Somebody should totally do this. Would be it's such an amazing experiment. Put a notch inhibitor on like that's right. a coating uh, that's going to inhibit yeah. the glial buildup. And it might not, ex you know, it might not yeah. fix the problem, but it would probably at least extend the life of the electrode maybe a, a six, yeah, let's do it. six yeah. months or a year. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, well, you could probably use the same, um, the you, alginate probably wouldn't work, but the P dot that's electro-coded that yeah. Jenny's using for the BDNF. Yeah. Just throw in a gamma secretase. Uh -huh. Um, and hit like the, no, you so know, talk about right DFT. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> great. 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 Oh, thank you. Great. Thank you. Yeah. great talk, man. Love oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Actually, I, I, I work with you, not with you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> 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 you gotta thank America. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for putting my experiments. Well, <laughs> that kind of worked. Yeah, yeah. You want them serious. Okay. They're looking for so Okay. So, uh, yeah, give me, a, give me a dare or two or maybe send them me his email. And you guys could have cubicles next to each other. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Let me get a picture of you and Kat. Dad's going to end up on Facebook. Yeah, I know. Facebook. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm in New York. All right, Tim's a doctor. Not yet. Maybe in <laughs> two, yeah. ten minutes. Make it one more. One more. Uh, okay. 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 No, that's okay. So as of the moment, the, the outcome is pretty muddy. Hey, um, uh, we may see some. Different Craig, I got a I got a favor to ask of you. What's your experience? Um, I was kind of an idiot and didn't get some certain forms. Can you run? I got them. You got them? I got them. Okay, never mind. Here, here, I, here I came to the rescue. Oh, thanks, man. It's all, it's only all, it's only any family, man. Yeah, I know. Backing you off with this. Yeah. This R of D. Yeah, I know. It's good, yeah. man. Right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, much better than the oh, yeah. ones that I saw before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what is the slide again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was, it was pretty good. Uh, you're just a bit nervous in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. I think when you got Yeah, I was kind of, I was constantly thirsty. Yeah. yeah. You, also you didn't speak as fast. As yeah, yeah. yeah. You no, know, it's solid. Yeah. How many times did you run through it? Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. 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 I was running. You really didn't get it. Yeah. Bit it. <laughs> well, you, look, you look okay from far. Yeah. You look, you I was thinking of wearing a fan of the opera mask. You look pretty. Yeah. 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 yeah, you don't see too badly. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm upset you didn't do another six years of that research. I know, right? You have to get one more figure. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> No, no, thank you. Oh, I'd like to see <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for making it at the end. It was yeah, nice seeing yeah, yeah. you. No, I'm not being passive aggressive. You know? <laughs> no, I know. I you know. know. You could have just stepped in when I said thanks, everybody. I, I, I assumed you were gonna like call me out. No, no. I actually expected. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to? Thanks, man. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Finally, yeah. 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 You're defending not just yourself, no, yeah. but all of neuroscience. All of neuroscience. <laughs> I like the How's it going, man? I, I thank you, America. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. And I was in there. Oh, it's good. Uh, I'm ready to go get lunch while you get chewed out. So. Okay, great. Yeah. 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 Toast we the burger to me. Tonight, right? yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Doctor? Yeah. So, what are you up to, Eric? Uh, I was just going to put the around. Oh, no. Yeah, done. No, no. Okay. Like, are you going out to dinner with people inside there? I don't even know what I'm going to do. So, I might work in the garage until like 5 or 6, and then there's a barbecue at Daryl's house. So. Okay. okay.